Hello, John Zimmerman with Tablet Class Math. And I want to take a look at this uh, quick little problem on a volume of a cylinder. So if you know how to find the volume of a cylinder, maybe you want to go ahead and see if you can do this problem real quick. Okay, so for those of you out there saying, well, I know how to do it, but I forgot the formula. Let me go ahead and give you the formula. So the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared, and r is the radius. You can see it over here, times the height. Okay, so in this case, it's going to be this uh, dimension, which is the height or the length, however you want to look at it. So there's your formula, and here is the problem. So how would you go ahead and approach this? Okay, so I'll just kind of give you, make this even a little bit easier for you. This is the height, okay, and this is the radius, and here is our formula. Okay, so I don't want to say this is a, a trick question, but I did kind of uh, um, add in a little bit of a detail into this problem to challenge you to make sure you understand units of measure. So when you're using this formula, volume equals pi r squared times height, when you plug in your values in here, they have to have the same units of measure. Okay, whoops, same units of measure. So in this case, look at, let's look at our radius. Okay, so it's 2, and then you have little like two little apostrophes there. That means inches. If I wrote 2 with one apostrophe, that means feet. So my radius is 2 inches. So let's go ahead and uh, say that we're going to use inches for this problem. So our volume is going to be pi. Our radius is 2 inches, so that's going to be 2 squared times the height. But my height is what? You've got to be very careful here. My height is 10 feet. So I have to convert feet to inches. Now I could just likely convert 2 inches into a fraction of a foot. You could do that as well. But the, the key thing here is that you have to have the same units of measure. So it's much easier, uh, as far as I'm concerned, to um, convert the height, this 10 feet, into inches. So um, how are we going to do that? So let me go ahead and ask you that. So there's 12 inches to 1 foot. So 10, 10 feet is going to be what? 10 times 12 or 120 inches. So that's the number we have to use, the value we have to use in our uh, formula over here. Okay, so now we're just going to go ahead and work it. And of course, those of you out there that are experts in order of operations or PEMDAS know that you have to do powers first, correct? So 2 squared is 4, so I can write this as pi times 4 times 120. And so the volume, just kind of working it nice and neat here. 4 times 120 is going to be 480. Now, it's always customary to write the pi behind your numbers, not in front. So I'm going to write it like this. 4 times 120 is 480 times pi. Now, this is a perfectly acceptable answer as far as most, most math teachers are, are not going to give you a problem doing this. Now, you, if you want a, a, a better answer or more of an a decimal estimate, you can go 480 times 3.14 and then get yourself, you know, your um, decimal in that respect. But if you just leave it like so, oops, like here, you're fine. However, this problem's not done. Okay, I forgot to do one critically important thing um, in my answer. And let me just ask you, do you know what that is? Well, what you have to do is you have to put in the units of um, a measure for volume. And the units of measure for volume are cube, cubic inches. So here it would be inches cubed. That's critical. If you didn't, let's say, let's suppose you're in my classroom, I give you a pop quiz for this answer, and you didn't put in inches cubed to show me that you understood the uh, units of measure, I would dock you, um, you know, some points to make you to make you regret that you didn't do that and, and you would uh, learn from it. So most math teachers are going to be the same. And of course, if you're in science or physics or any other type of class, if you don't put the units of measure, it's a big deal. Okay, so volume of a cylinder. Hope, hopefully you learned something. Um, if you enjoy uh, my videos, please subscribe to me on YouTube. And of course, uh, you can come on over to tabletclass.com and take a free trial with us. Have a great day.